against my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's pop? What's going on in the life of a cancer between the 15th and the 28th of February? Hmm. Are we detoxifying and clearing our energies? Hmm. Usually I don't like to say just on camera, you know, but spirits say, you know, the cancer. A lot of y'all are really needing to clear your energy. A lot of you all are really needing to release your energy from people, situations that are really, uh, this word is getting real popular, but toxic. You understand? A lot of you all are really, really, really needing to really trust your inner guidance, trust your inner and respect your inner God and respect your inner guidance because a lot of you all are letting people in your energy who does not deserve the privilege. Okay? If you are the empress, please stop manifesting the motherfucking gestures. Got it? We get it? Good. Get it? Got it? Good. All right, so, <clears throat> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better assist you and resonate with your spirit a little better without cussing, okay? To my uh, new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight, we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we do cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we evolve, we enlighten one another, y'all. Positive vibes only, all right? To my returning subscribers, family, we are pushing through. We making some damn noise. We calling on all the damn funk and we jumping off of cliffs you understand for those of you who don't know i'm from the south you're gonna catch that metaphor later on your way home and say oh yeah now i remember and we gonna ease this thing on by yes we are you understand look here this will be from the 15th to the 28th of february it will not resonate with everybody if you do need a personal reading that information can be found within the description um this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Cancer. Thank you all for my likes, my shares, my subscribes. Appreciate you. Love y'all. Y'all let me feel all of that love. Thank you for all of the comments. Thank you for being a part of my family. I humbly appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Y'all, I would have never thought that I would have grown this much. But y'all, <laughs> this show must go on. This family must grow. We must expand. We must turn the motherfucking uh, damn uh, cottage and to a motherfucking palace. We are in the palace. Do you understand? We have grown so much. I was watching one of my old videos from when I first started the other day, y'all. And I was, I had every damn thing but the belief in myself. And I feel that it's very imperative for me to share this with cancer. Um, I, my twin flames are cancer. So he already knows, you know, what the journey has been quite interesting. But, you know, I had so many naysayers and so many reasons not to. And who would I offend and who would I? But then I found that, damn, my, my regular self on marching to the tongue, marching to the damn tune of your fucking Maracha show has drove me insane and in living my truth and being able to help others in the midst of my truth truly matters to me. Um, I know a lot of you all like, Mocha, I thought you moved. Yeah, I moved, you guys, and uh, went through a situation where I had to let go, release, let God, you know, I'm no longer in a partnership. This girl is single on Valentine's Day. Y'all, happy Valentine's Day. Um, and, you know, I'm really, really just trusting the process. And to be honest with y'all, I just feel so light. For those of you who going to be like, Mocha, you glowing. That glow up, baby, happens when I show up. You understand? And I had to show up and show out and allow God to do God's job and stop and really just get the realization and get to the realization that, hey, what you're doing, it's not your part. You understand? So spirit is really putting it on my heart to share with you guys. And that's for a lot of you all. You know, you got to know what's your part, what's not. Everybody, you can't make everybody fit. Sometimes it's only enough. Sometimes it's a fucking one seater. You understand? And when you actually push through those obstacles and jump over those hurdles, Damn shit, you can go afford to buy you a whole damn minivan. But it's going to be with the people who have supported you to get that far. You can't make it fit if it don't fit. If the shoe don't fit, don't try and keep putting that motherfucker on. That's how you get coins. Let's roll. All right, so we're going to start off with the intuitive messages <clears throat> for the mid half, uh, for, for my sign of cancer for the mid half of February. Um, For cancer, intuitively, I got, y'all, you know what y'all make me do? Collective. I know this view sucks. I'm, I'm working on it, you guys. This year I'm manifesting some 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 greater technology, y'all, because I've been living. You understand? Y'all, I'm something like a hippie. I'll be all over the damn place. You never know. I might end up in the town near you because I ain't scared to jump. You know, life can show me when I don't jump. I miss on I miss out on opportunities. And not only do I miss out on opportunities, even if I didn't, I'm stuck with the thought of what could have happened if I did jump. Don't have no woulda, coulda, shoulda tomorrow. 
You understand? <clears throat> Don't die with the music inside of you. That was for somebody. February 2019, intuitively I got newness. Universal blessings. Divine intervention. Revisiting. Travel. Forgiveness. Receiving. Yes, God. Pouring of abundance. Yes, God. Twin flame. Let them fall. Divine protection. Worry not. Communication. Detoxification. Okay. So that was definitely why I felt the energy of clearing my energy, you know, and I feel like a lot of you all really need to purge your energy. Stop moving on to relationship to relationship, trying to find, trying to find someone or something in someone who didn't break it. You got to fix what's broken first, baby, and then jump off the cliff. There's nothing wrong with that. Progress, not perfection. All right. So the angel message that you all got was moon cycles. Okay. Archangel Haniel, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Speak it, live it, know it, breathe it, and so be it. Okay? And some people are like, Mom, are you fussing at us? No, baby, I'm passionate. Roll with me, all right? A lot of you all may be moving forward, okay? Moving forward from people, places, situations, circumstance. That was the overall energy around you are reading this month, okay? <clears throat> around your energy. All right, so spiritually speaking, a lot of you all may be in a place during this mid-half of February. I feel like a lot of you all are releasing yourself, releasing yourself from the from the constraints and the beliefs of others. A lot of you all are really just following your inner guidance. You're coming out of this uh, coming out of this shell of being afraid to be vulnerable. A lot of you all are releasing yourselves from your own mental imprisonment and your own self-fulfilled prophecies that you all could have created, okay? And for some of you all, it's the projection. You're releasing the projections of fears from others. As if, for example, if you tell Sally Sue, okay, I'm, I really suck with making up names. If you tell Sally Sue, okay, <clears throat> Sally Sue, I'm getting ready to go and pursue a music career, okay? Sally Sue could know you could be the best, you could be the greatest at your craft, but because Sally Sue has a gift to paint, and her mama told her that she belongs on the praise dance team for the rest of her life because that's where the family at, Sally Sue gonna say, well, how you know that somebody not gonna try and steal your music? Or how you know that somebody, bitch, how do you know that I'm going not that I'm not going to be great? And how would I ever know hanging around dream killers, hanging around people who influence only who can only have a negative impact or influence or opinion within my life you don't fit <clears throat> so some of you all are taking everything some of you all are in a place of just taking all of the wisdom that you've acquired with relationships you know family members friends and just really moving forward but you're moving forward in a way and really finally choosing yourself some of you all may be actually going back to school during this time. Some of y'all are expanding your knowledge around your spirituality, honing your spiritual gifts. And during moon cycle, some of you all, you really need to trust your dreams because your dreams are going to be very, very, very revealing. Um, some of y'all are really having kind of sales. You're selling, and I'm saying selling because it's kind of like dimension jumping. For those of you who have any type of mutable qualities in your chart, Sag, Virgo, Pisces, Gemini. Um some of you all may be kind of dipping back and forth or sailing back and forth between your past lives, especially while you're in a dream state. So you're really needing to detoxify your energy and really be in this grounded place before you go to bed so that your subconscious is not roaming in the place of, you know, fears and things of that nature, especially those of you who your dreams usually come true. You're really needing to shift the way that you see things so that you can really create the reality of these things. Not to say that what you're seeing is not true or, or to be true it's just to say that don't get caught up in an illusion of fear of how you're seeing things okay um some of you all some of y'all are artists some of you guys are performers some of you all are public speakers some of you all um or uh some of you all are uh, spiritual teachers but i feel that you're kind of been in this you've been in this self imprisonment i'm hearing religion so it could have to do with religious factors or traditional views some of you guys could actually have to release someone who kind of Makes you feel binded within living your dream, living your reality, and bringing your realities here into fruition of the things that you're passionate about. Passion and purpose. You understand this? That is the that's the that's the move for mid half of February because in the month of March it's going to be a very 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 prosperous time for cancers if you guys choose to jump off the cliff now. Again, everybody can't go, and you cannot make it fit. 
Some of you all uh, may be seeing a lot of butterflies during this time that is signifying that newness. Some of y'all may also be, um, some of you all, I'm literally seeing a woman. There's a woman who watches me. I'm seeing now. Um, this could be for a few of you all, but there's a woman, your purpose, you're wondering why you have a lot of cats around you. Your purpose is you a healer for animals. Okay. So a lot of the animals that you are attracting, whoever I'm talking to, because I'm, I'm spirit is saying I'm talking to a few of you all. So, but I'm, I'm particularly seeing a woman, whomever I'm speaking to, the reason why you're attracting all of those cats, those cats are familiar spirits. Um, those cats may also, if you let them in your home, they may also, um, or sleep with them in your home. One particular, there's one that is like a chocolate brown color with like white speckles. Sleep with that cat in your home. That cat is tied to your ancestry. Um, it's like a familiar. You have some type of, um, some type of sor sorcery like ancestry, baby. And I feel like you're going to be getting to know that through your dreams, whomever I'm talking to. Some of you all live in this place of fear that's preventing you. You're really going to be in this place of coming into harmony within the self, the masculine and the feminine aspects within the self to give you that sense of momentum in order to move forward, okay, towards your dreams. Not just going to fuck the work every day, but your actual dreams, your ambitions, and where you see yourself. Don't think now, this year. Think five years from now. Think about, some of you all may be um, actually researching IRAs as well as forms of um, forms of cryptocurrency or investing in some type of cryptocurrency. Spirit is saying that's a good move for what I'm talking to as well. All right, so let's get it. <clears throat> I'm going to do my love messages a different way. I did it with the queries, and I liked it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to bust it down so we can get to the TT. And you guys let me know if you like uh, me doing my spreads this way. Okay. All right. So everybody may have a whole different type of reading this month. I do what I want. Okay. And that's me just finding my flow, trying to change, expand, and see how I can expand. But as my family, I need you all to come through. Yeah, this is what I call y'all at the beginning. That's the card that flipped over when Spirit said, take it. The motherfucking Empress. How are you manifesting being the Empress dealing with the damn justice? For some of you all, that damn justice could be a Taurus. Some of you all are on the brink of a new beginning. And some of you all, um, it's a passionate new beginning, possibly with the Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Virgo. I feel that for those of you who are um, moving into or going to be starting a new business, now is the time. I've been thinking about it. You've already done the planning. However, again, ooh, ooh, thank you. They seen that? However, again, everybody can't go. What is for those of you who have any type of financial blockages, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, okay, Taurus to be exact, spirit is going ahead and getting real with me now because I'm, I'm I'm taking it as I receive it. But for those of you who are possibly dealing with the Taurus. Or Virgo, I feel like this person is, could be during this time wanting to start over. They want to manifest something new with you. For some of you all, I feel that for some of you all, it's a good move. For those of you, um, there's a new beginning possibly with the mother or the father of your child. Or someone could actually be leaving you out in the cold. You could be leaving someone else out in the cold to be with the mother or father of your child. Take it how it resonates. You could also be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you're shedding your skin during this time, though. I feel like you're kind of having this having this sense of a rebirth, especially in love, and you're really having to, in shedding that skin, leave the old behind and, and trust the process and moving towards something new. Some of you guys could also be wanting to manifest a new beginning. However, you're feeling as if you want to be left out, Nicole. I'm hearing abandonment issues. Somebody has abandonment issues. And Spirit is saying, go ahead and take that leap of faith. It's safe. For some of you all, you could possibly have an Aries person trying to come back and manifest something with you after leaving you out in the cold. And for some of you all, this person could have left you out in the cold and moved away from you due to uh, dealing with someone for financial reasons. Cancer, some of you guys are definitely moving toward the sign of Aries during this time. You're moving away from a burdensome situation, possibly from another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys, you could be, be you could be being very defensive towards a fire sign during this time. Due to the fact that this person actually moved away from you. And for some of you all, whoever you're dealing with could have actually moved away from a fire sign. And now they want to come manifest something with you. This could be the mother or father of their child. But now when they come back, they have that extra, I'm not going to call it baggage. I'm just going to say that 
For some of you all, this person could be coming back after they have pretty much got somebody pregnant or something uh, or, or something to that extent. But I definitely see if they're equal give and take. So this person is going to want to give to you as well as their situation. <clears throat> some of you all may see it as a burden. OK, for some of you all, this is definitely involved in the damn Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all this damn fire. OK, but some of you all, um, some of you all are feeling overburdened because you're having a hard time giving to um, a love situation as well as trying to create a business. You're feeling as if it's going to be burning some spirit is saying, no, jump off the cliff, move forward, go ahead and move towards that momentum, move towards your passions. Anything worth having is worth fighting for. OK, for some of you all, <clears throat> this is a relationship that could have been a stalemate, could have been stagnant due to someone being indecisive. Some of you all could be starting something new and transforming the family situation after being left out in the cold or secluded, secluded away from a Pisces. OK, and this could have happened after uh, they could have actually walked away from an Aries person and moved away from an Aries person due to feeling as if they had to carry all the burdens. And you could have had an issue with this person uh, given equally to you due to you and this fire sign. But they really want to come back and move towards you and actually show you better than they can tell you. OK, I do see you're kind of indecisive. However, there will be some type of truth and clarity that is going to be moving forward, um, moving forward. That is going to assist you um, in actually expressing your love and not and facing that fear of actually. Like, well, how can I put it? You're going to you're going to. Not be in this place of fear when it comes to expressing your love, but spirit is saying, take your time and move slowly. OK, take your time, move slowly. For some of you all, you're the emperor. OK, y'all, some of y'all could actually be moving away from an Aries person as well or Virgo. OK, but it's funny they go that same damn three of wands. You need to make a judgment on do I go or do I stay for most of you all. Prosperity damn sure looks good. For those of you who have really been sitting on your business endeavor, spirit is saying no more. Move towards your passion. Because for those of you who have not done so, your passion is a part of your life purpose. Okay, and you're really needing to trust your dreams during this time. And truly, truly, truly make that judgment from a solid, secure place, not a place of fear. I'm going to uh, clarify the major arcana here. I was going to break it up, but I realized, damn, we already 18 minutes in. Well, 17 minutes in. Well, all right. <clears throat> Spirit, why is the hangman here? Yeah. Some of you all want to stay in a relationship with the mother or the father of your child. However, there you, you're only focusing on the hurt out of the situation. You're only focusing on what went wrong. And there's a need for some of you all or someone to move away from the past. Move away from what happened from the past. Someone is feeling rejected by you or feeling as if they're not good enough. Some of you, you could be receiving a solid offer in love during this time, possibly from an Aries or a Taurus person. OK, um, I feel as if for some of you all, you had to leave this person behind in order for them. You had to get they want to get right. So cancel said your ass had to get left. And I ultimately feel that some of you all are in fear of letting this person back. OK, because you're having a hard time. Getting over them damn, getting over them damn troubled waters. It's really the only thing that you could think about is the hurt. The spirit is saying move away from that. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here manifesting something new? Yeah, after heartbreak. Okay, for some of you all, you could possibly have someone trying to come back who could have possibly put you in a third party situation, and this person is coming back because they're kind of seeing your status. They're seeing your glow up. They want something new. They want a piece of that spirit is saying. Was they with you shooting into the gym? Well, all right. Yeah, some of y'all are definitely going to receive information um, or receive some type of communication from someone. And it's going to be very fast moving. And they want to come in and express their love. But they still coming in with this night energy, which is flighty as fuck. OK, for those of you who are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person, you could be um, some of y'all could be leaving a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who you have kids with in the cold due to communication and the fact that they're flighty as fuck. <clears throat> Why is the Empress here? Yeah, for some of you all, <laughs> I'm going to take them out. Spirit said take them out. Some of you all could be moving towards um, a soulmate relationship, possibly with the Taurus or um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're going to be receiving communication from this person that they really want to build with you. They want to start something new. They want to manifest this new beginning that I feel that you've been waiting on for quite some time. But they're doing this. In this, in this period of cancer having to make a decision on, you know, where it is that I'm going, where it is that, what it is that I'm passionate about. For some of you all, you could have recently separated from someone and all of a sudden, you know, your past decide they want to roll on in. We are in retrograde season, I believe, again. 
Yeah. Some of you all, <clears throat> some of you all could have moved away from an Aries person and taken a leap of faith. Move forward. Drop the damn burdens. And after doing so, this person wants to come in and make an offer to you of reconciliation. But for some of you all, you moving away. This could be uh, Leo as well. Some of you all are dropping a burdensome situation that involves a Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, um, and a, or Leo due to resistance. Resistance, not wanting to change, selfishness. You're speaking your truth. You're speaking your truth, and when you do, expect the damn uproar. Expect the people to get mad, throw shit, want to pick sticks up and shit, but ultimately, you know what you want, Cancer, which is love. Ultimately, your outcome, if you choose to move forward and choose the self, is love, possibly from a water sign. But some of you all love after independence. Independence for most of you. For those of you who are afraid to leave a job or leave a work situation due to that fear of failure, Spirit is saying that's not your part. You do your part and have that blind faith and let God show up and show out. And for some of you all, it's your independence that brings you this true love, this maturity. Move away from this night shit. For some of you all, your new love could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, it's an Aries person. And for some of you all, it's a hell of an opportunity. Okay, that will give you this feeling of independence. <clears throat> As well as bring love back to restore a situation. For those of you who have been in that night of that nine of pentacles energy in that independence, here comes love. And you need not look at it from a place of fear. Move away from those internal conflicts that you've created within the mind. Don't charge nobody for a crime that they did commit. Yet be willing to fix the issue within you so that you can truly embrace the opportunity as it comes forth, okay? So that's what I have for my babies, you guys, my cancers. Between the 15th and the 28th of February, you need that personal, hit me up. Love y'all. Namaste, babies.